Janet Lee made her mark in a variety of films, from her debut in The Romance of Rosie Ridge in 1947 to crime dramas like Act of Violence and iconic films like Touch of Evil. But it was her role as Marion Crane in Psycho that really put her on the map. The unforgettable shower scene won her a Golden Globe and an Academy Award nomination, cementing her place in film history. Lee continued to act in movies like Bye Bye Birdie and even appeared alongside her daughter Jamie Lee Curtis in The Fog and Halloween H2O. But what you might not know is that Lee's life was not just a highlight reel of successful films. Like many stars, she faced her share of trials and tribulations, both on and off the screen. Today, we'll be revealing some of the darker chapters of Janet Lee's life and career. With a career that spanned over five decades, there's a lot to uncover. So stay tuned as we venture into the lesser-known stories of this legendary actress who sadly passed away in 2004, but whose impact on Hollywood is still undoubtedly felt today. Facts First presents Uncovering Janet Lee's Dark Secrets of Her Life. From Poverty to the Limelight Born Jeanette Helen Morrison in 1927 in Merced, California, she was the only child in a family struggling to make ends meet. Her parents were a melting pot of heritage. Her mom from Denmark and her dad had Scotch-Irish roots as well as German ones. The Morrisons moved to Stockton shortly after Janet's birth. They faced tough times, especially after the Great Depression hit. Her father worked in a factory, but one job wasn't enough to keep them afloat. He had to juggle multiple gigs just to ensure there was food on the table. Despite these hardships, Janet showed inner strength and a natural flair for academics. She was also deeply involved in her local church choir, singing her heart out every Sunday. They relocated in 1941, this time because of her paternal grandfather's terminal illness. But even amidst these obstacles, Janet's talents didn't go unnoticed. She excelled in her studies, graduating from high school at 16. Against All Odds Her career in Hollywood was a roller coaster ride. Starting out as a teen with no acting experience, she caught the eye of Norma Shearer and was soon handed an MGM contract. Her initial years in the industry saw her in a variety of roles, from a romantic interest in Civil War dramas to a young pregnant woman in an English village. Despite the pitfalls and less than stellar films, Lee never wavered in her commitment. Over the years, she broke out of the mold to star in diverse roles. Moving on from MGM to Universal and Columbia, she continued her filmography, and her marriage to Tony Curtis brought another dynamic to her career, as they appeared in multiple films together. But it was the film Psycho that turned her into an icon. Her portrayal of Marion Crane won her accolades and etched her name into film history. Lee's Tumultuous Marriage when Janet Lee and Tony Curtis tied the knot in 1951, it initially seemed like a match made in Hollywood heaven. Both were up-and-coming stars, and their marriage got a lot of attention from fans and the media alike. But behind the scenes, things were far from picture-perfect. Even though they looked like the ideal couple, their journey was never smooth sailing. Curtis was almost pushed into marrying another actress, Piper Laurie, for publicity. But he couldn't ignore his feelings for Lee. Against all odds, they wed, despite the fact that they were under contract with different studios that didn't approve of the union. Curtis started landing more significant roles shortly after the marriage, and they even starred in some together. But the spark soon started to fade. Lee wasn't happy with Curtis's public behavior, and Curtis grew increasingly jealous of her professional success. To make matters worse, Curtis suspected Lee of infidelity. His response was he began to engage in affairs himself justifying his actions by saying he was, quote, in his prime. In 1956, their first daughter, Kelly, was born, but happiness remained elusive. By 1958, the year their second daughter, Jamie Lee Curtis, was born, their marriage was on the rocks. Jamie Lee later referred to herself as a save-the-marriage baby, but admitted she failed. After Lee's iconic role in Psycho, she began to drink heavily. Curtis reached his limit and filed for divorce, while Lee was filming The Manchurian Candidate. One of the final straws was Curtis's affair with a young German actress, leading to a quick divorce. Their lives took different turns afterwards. Curtis married multiple times, each ending in separation, and saw his career decline. 
Lee remarried and stayed remarried until her passing, but her professional life also saw its share of ups and downs. Behind that infamous Psycho scene The shower scene in Psycho is one of the most famous in film history. Marley Renfro got the gig as Janet Lee's body double through a photographer she knew. When Renfro met Hitchcock and Lee, she took off her clothes to see if she and Lee had similar bodies. She felt at ease doing this, reportedly saying, quote, I was a nudist, so I was very comfortable being without clothes. Although most of the body shown in the shower scene belongs to Janet Lee. Lee wore a cream-colored bathing suit for filming. According to Renfro, looks can be deceiving. She was once quoted as saying, If you don't see her face, that's me, the back of my head, my feet, arms, and belly button. Creating a believable murder scene meant getting the blood just right. They used watered-down Hershey syrup for the effect. During filming, off-camera crewmen splattered Renfro with the chocolate concoction to simulate the blood. A small but significant detail threatened to reveal that a body double was used. Renfro's ring finger was darker due to a childhood accident. Hitchcock wanted a close-up of her hand, and Renfro had to explain the situation. Hitchcock made light of it, joking about how the injury really happened. His attention to detail meant that what was initially planned as a two- or three-day shoot turned into a week-long project. The numerous camera angles and precise blocking required extending the filming time. He even used a measuring tape to ensure that a shot of Renfro's hand grabbing the shower curtain was just out of focus. In all, the shower scene in Psycho serves as an example of filmmaking at its best, a combination of technical expertise, artistic vision, and strong performances. Janet Lee's contribution to the scene, enhanced by Marley Renfro's role as her body double, made it a part of movie history that continues to thrill and shock audiences today. Lee's death shocked everyone. Janet Lee passed away October 3, 2004. She was 77 years old. Lee died in her Beverly Hills home after fighting a long battle with vasculitis, an inflammation of the blood vessels. Her death came as a shock to many because she had kept her illness secret from the public. Lee was survived by her two daughters, Kelly and Jamie, as well as her husband of 42 years, Robert Brandt. In keeping with her wishes, she was cremated and her ashes were placed in a tomb at Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in the Westwood Village neighborhood of Los Angeles. The sudden loss of Lee saddened fans and the film industry alike. Despite her passing, her impactful roles in movies and the indelible mark she left on Hollywood continued to be celebrated today. With a career spanning several decades and roles in more than 60 films, her legacy in the world of cinema remains alive and well. From her rise to fame to her roles in groundbreaking films like Psycho, her journey is a fascinating one through Hollywood history. If you have any fond memories or thoughts about Janet Lee, we'd love for you to share them in the comments section below.